Hey guys, I'm Rashi. I'm a doctor from India and I'm currently on my USMD journey to apply to my dream residency of internal medicine in the US. So I recently got my step 2 score and I got a 265 uh, and today I'm just going to walk you through the exact resources and the strategy that I used uh, to get a 265. My timeline was four months of pre-dedicated period and two months of dedicated. For my pre-dedicated period, I used your Divine Intervention Podcast and First Aid. And for my dedicated period, I used your notes, your flashcards, DIP and Amos. So I'll just walk you through each of these resources in detail and stay tuned till the end because I will be putting together an example strategy with the whole plan with everything that I'm just saying towards the end. Starting with UWorld, it is the gold standard and UWorld is a learning resource and it took me, it takes me so much acceptance to get a 65% on my UWorld block and be like, it is a learning resource and this is not my score. So, uh, just like, let's acknowledge that and put that out of the way. I started doing UWorld as random untimed and in tutor mode so with training wheels for say 15-ish percent and my goal was to get myself acquainted to you world again after step one and also to build my knowledge base now this is also the time where i used first aid and like whenever i wasn't sure about a topic i would go to first aid read the page come back and thoroughly, thoroughly go through the URL explanation. For the next one, I did like random, timed, and tutor for say 15 ish percent. Now, that putting the time pressure really forces your brain to think faster and make quicker decisions. And I just wanted myself to get used to it from the beginning. The rest of the URL I did in random, um, timed, and test mode, like the real deal. But from my different experience, I know that I am not the person who can study from a ready-made notes. Ready-made notes might work for some people but for me I they are just way too extensive and they include details that are not tailored to me so I I never end up revising my, <laughs> I never end up revising my notes towards the exams if they're ready -made. so I decided that I would be making my own notes. I did these in like three segments and I think you all does a very good job of giving you enough. First one was marking questions. I marked questions that I thought were tricky, were memory based, or the questions that integrated concepts really well, and the kind of questions that I knew that I would forget if I didn't revise them again. So I marked questions that I wasn't confident about from the beginning, and not every wrong questions, just the ones that I mentioned. Uh, next up are UL flashcards loved making flashcards so i was not a flashcard person before i started making ul flashcards primarily because they're so easy to make it's literally two clicks and you can make a flashcard and i made various decks so my favorite decks to revise for the spaced repetition memory boosting was uh the mat images because these are spotters and you cannot cannot afford to get them wrong and uh, micro images, pattern images, and my favorite deck among all these was the UL uh, treatment algorithm and uh, flowcharts deck. And I started putting putting this, these decks together right from the beginning, so I could collect and have a thing ready by the time I finished my four thousand questions. After this, there's the UL notebook. So when I was reading through the explanation. I would copy paste a sentence or a concept that I just wasn't confident about in the UL notebook and that way I knew that I was going to revise it because it was just a very uh, concise and very crystallized uh, version of UL that based on the stuff that I really really wasn't didn't know. Now with this taken care of we're moving to the next that is Divine Intervention Podcast these are holy grail i don't know how divine makes these amazing podcasts now to begin with they are a little confusing because they are not that well organized and i get it but you need to like 
listen to a few of them to get the hang of them. So I started with the shelf review podcast. These are pretty long. Uh, I did the medicine, the pediatrics and the surgery shelf ones. And then I moved to the highly podcasts. Now on his website, there's a little tab that uh, gives you a link to a Google sheet where he has selectively put all the highly podcasts in one column. So you can just put in the episode number and listen to the highly podcasts one by one. And if listening to podcasts isn't for you or you think it takes too much time, then there's also crowdsourced episode notes, which I discovered a little later. I don't know why I didn't know, but there, there were episode notes and uh, which like what word of what divine says. So if you prefer to read, there's also that. Now since step two has become a little more about ethics and quality safety. So I wanted to have a stronger grip on these concepts and that's why I did a couple hundred questions from Amboss and not per se for solving questions, but so that I could read their explanation and again, uh, add to my understanding of ethics. Coming into my dedicated period prep, about two months before your exam is a good time to start giving practice tests, your NBMEs and your QWNCs. Now, NBMEs are 200 questions each, so about five UI blocks. And giving latest four or five NBMEs should be good. So just a little PSA, NB, switching from your world to giving your first NBME can be a little weird. First, because the interface is different. And secondly, because the question stems just feel different. Or maybe because you've like, I've been solving like 4,000 UI questions and then when I moved to NBME, it was just different. But don't worry, uh, the scores will only go up from here. Review your NBMEs really, really well because the concepts are repeated in the exam. Now, I realized this when I gave my exam that they were testing same concepts that they tested in NBME. So I would give yourself a couple of days to review every single question from NBME and make sure you go through the explanation, the wrong ones, the images and everything. So after NBMEs, there's UWSAs. UWSAs I thought were very, very good quality. So make sure you save them towards the end of it. You can give every a test every week. So like one test a week and that should give like having eight weeks is more than enough. Other than this, there's pre-120 that I uh, integrated with my uh, last UWSA so that I could make a whole nine hour long test. I would highly, highly recommend doing this at least once because it gives you the confidence that you can sit through a test for nine hours and still stay at the top of every question and solve everything very accurately. You can sprinkle in CMS forms uh, in between your NBMEs and your UWSA, just random CMS forms, a few questions a day or a few hundred, I don't know. By the end of it, I think I was doing a few hundred a day. So, but they're pretty, I thought they were pretty simple and they didn't have as many layers to them as you world's question did. So putting it all together, I wish I had some sort of a, some, something of this sort when I began my preparation because then I would have gone off from here. I'm just going to give you a sample timeline and you can tailor it to your timeline and study style. Yeah, I have my planner on here because I plan every single day of my prep and I have been doing this for every exam since 2014. Yes, I am learning, I know that. Ah, so for my pre-dedicated period, I did UOL, Divine Intervention Podcast and First Day. Now coming on to the dedicated period, you need to do uh, UOL, notes, flashcards, VIP, high yield stuff and a little bit of ambos for supplementing like ethics and quality safety concepts. A week before, go through the VIP Hyde podcast episode notes. Now, one week before the exam, you probably will not be having time to listen to the entire podcast, but like reading through notes is pretty quick. After that, you need to revise your flashcards and also uh, genealogy images for very, very common conditions. So that's that. And then, yeah. So you need to revise your treatment algorithms from UWorld in the last week of your prep, including your medical emergencies, your surgical emergencies, then there's 
topics like trauma so these are things that your world has given amazingly in forms of like flowcharts and uh, yeah I would highly recommend revising them in the last week before the exam uh, then do your EKGs because again there's an amazing flowchart in your world and also in first aid just annotate with them with uh, the treatment modalities and that should be pretty comprehensive what else um, yes uh, there's also biostats and you should be revising biostats formulas and concepts in the last week because 90 seconds per question is a pretty short amount of time to read a biostats question to understand what they're asking for and then like mathematically solve the question so just having the formulas memorized well and the concepts like internalized uh, would really help you ace biostats questions on the test day remember to trust yourself trust your instincts and trust your gut the exam is nine hours long it is not designed to feel easy and it's not going to feel easy so just going in with that mindset and just having a little bit a little bit of that faith in yourself goes a long way because having that good good score report in your hand makes it worth it trust me if you found this video helpful please like and consider subscribing because i will be sharing more of my usmle journey here including like how to's and tips and just bits and pieces of my life uh, moving from India to the US.